Because I haven't seen uh, a uh, good uh, video slash um, medium post about Ross 2 and uh, NVIDIA um, uh, other than obviously Dusty has done a great job. Um, but as far as it relates to uh, Python uh, 3 and uh, detecting uh, objects and using transform learning toolkit, um, I decided to throw up a quick video. So this, is, this one is pretty simple. Um, I am getting the uh, object detection back from uh, the DetectNet uh, and what I'm getting back is a pretty high confidence that, that I am me and I've obviously trained it against other things that are more specific but uh, if you wanted to add an overlay here you have the uh, you have the coordinates you can add the overlay that you want to add plenty of code out there for that but I just want to show this one uh, real fast so it's very simple uh, standard create a node and uh, the uh, ROS2 page shows quite a bit of that, so you don't need to re-go over that. But um, in this case, I am receiving my image already from a uh, publishing node, that's this thing running up here, and uh, I'm separately doing object detection. The reason why I'm doing that is I want the speed for other areas of uh, use um, for that image, and I'm doing a lot of other things strictly with that image. But here, I just want to do some, some background detections, detections, just random detections. Um, and in my end use case, is that I want to detect objects, but I also want to uh, where in some type of object has been, uh, is in the view of the camera that it doesn't recognize, I want to store an image and then automatically uh, use the Transform Learning Toolkit to update my model. Uh, so that, that is kind of an ongoing thing that I'm working on, almost done with it. You can see here though, uh, I am transferring the, the image, um, converting it into a CV2 image. Uh, from there, I convert it into an RGB image. Um, and you can do other things like black and white it, um, things like that, and uh, make it smaller. Uh, here, I'm flipping it, things like that. But there's lots of other things you can do to even speed this up faster. Uh, and then from there, I'm following uh, Dusty's get class uh, uh, description in that because I don't want to go through the process of creating my own um, yet. But uh, when I do that, do that automatic image object detection, which I'm working on right now, as you can see, I'm like halfway through some code here. Um, then you'll you'll see either me update this class automatically or um, you know. We'll, we'll figure out something there. So that's, that's a simple problem. Okay, um, that's enough for today. Um, you can see here it is me showing me. It's really terrible at uh, detection, detecting things. Let's see what I have around me. I have a water bottle. Let's see, detect water bottle. Um, 41. So I don't know if 41 is an airplane. So it looks like uh, it did not do very well with that. But the idea is uh, correct. Uh, anyway, good enough for today. Have a great day.